Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. So, welcome back to our next lecture. You remember that in the last lecture, I have derived the particle reconstruction method for solving the conservation equation or its a continuity equation. So, today I will do some MATLAB in implementation of that scheme. Let us remember that what we had, so what the particle reproduction we have to solve the discrete system of ODE either by explicit Euler or Rumikuta 2 method or explicit we had x i of n plus 1 was x i of n plus a by delta t by delta t times a by 2. Rho i of n plus 1 was rho i of n minus delta t times a by 2 times del rho i by del x at the time level n. So this was our scheme. We move first from the old position to with some delta time step delta t with some arbitrary velocity a by 2. Then we get new position. And at new position, we compute our new density, which is given by old density minus delta t times this uh, arbitrary velocity times the derivative of partial derivative of rho with respect to x in the old time step. So once we have that, so it means what we had, so remember, so we had the old position here, the particle at Tn, so all particle were here, x, i of n, and then we move them We move them uh, with the time step delta t, and it we got at level t n plus one. Our points are so these are points. So our points are x i n plus one. So these are x i n plus one. We move either if it is a positive, we move this, or if it is negative, we come to this direction. And then what we have the new position here. So new position over here. So we have computed. So we had arrow x i and rho i of n at this level. In this time level, we have rho i of n plus one. Yeah, these two are in this point and these two are in this position. And now the idea was we reproject back into the old position. So we want to bring back this particle which we had. So we bring back to the old position. So it means we reproject or reconstruct this new function value at this new position. Yeah? 
So we bring it back. And then at the new position, if I am sitting at this new position, I have to update. So I had in the old position a time step rho i of n, but I have to update rho i n plus 1. So once I am just looking at this point, I have to take all the neighbor of this pink color particle, which are the new position. So the value at this new position, I have to interpolate at this old position. So that we have done in the beginning how to reconstruct the particle with the mesh method. So that we can apply the same algorithm. And now what is another thing is that if you do the Runge Kuta, so it doesn't matter either you do the explicit Euler or the Runge Kuta, you do both step and once you finish, you got new solution and then you do the reprojection. Yeah? So the, the process was the steps uh, algorithm so was the first in this initialization so here in the initialization you give uh, give parameters then generate Grids initialize initial condition, and then the second step and solve, for example. E star for T n is equal to zero one up to T final step. Yeah. So then in the third position, so after you solve the at every time step, not it is that you have to do the time loop. So it is here, do while t less equal to t final. And then what? Because here we have t is equal to 0. And then solve star. And then, uh, so first step, second step that I reconstruct. Rho i n plus 1, 8 x i of n. Yeah? And then third, go to step 2, and then end. Yeah? Thus you do that. This is our algorithm. So if you solve the Burger equation, it is also the same. Yeah. So, for example, for Burger equation, so I consider the viscous form. So we have rho i of n plus one because here we don't have any arbitrary Eulerian scheme. Rho i of n plus one is rho i of n plus delta t times epsilon times delta rho i n by del x square and we have our x i n plus 1 is x i of n plus delta t times rho i of n. So this is our for Burger equation star 1. Yeah? So now we instead of that Instead of this part, here we solve star 1, and then we do the same reconstruction. So all the processes are same. I think now, it is the time now I'll show you how the solution looks like with this, uh, with this scheme, whether it makes sense to do that or not, because I told you that the advantage is that if you are 
not able to do the particle management. It means after moving this point, if you are not to able to add the particle or remove the particle, then you may not, then you are getting stuck for, you, to, for the computation. So in order to avoid that, you just do one simple modification that you do the reprojection so that you are always in the original position then you have enough number of neighbor no points are generating or clustering at one point or none of them are scattering so then you will have the stable solution so therefore i just gave you the idea sometimes it is uh, quite uh, appropriate but not all the time so wait for the now now uh, let us see the our matlab implementation Okay, uh, let us start uh, this algorithm to reconstruct. I start with the, the linear advection equation. So the same setup, I am not using the different example. I am using uh, for all algorithms, same example, so that we see the real difference between the solution of the all earlier algorithm and then the, the following algorithm. And so again, uh, this initialization process, the first, what we have, this is the initialization of all the, the uh, setup. So we initialize our geometry, and then we initialize our number of grid point. We initialize what is the distance between this grid, and we initialize uh, the neighbor radius, how many neighbors we want from every point. So this is the final time. And this is for the weight function, the factor, and this is the velocity. It is A in the linear advection equation. This is the constant. And now here, using the CFL condition, I choose my delta T. And then, um, so let us start uh, that uh, because we can do this reconstruction interpolation either first order or the second order. So now I'm just using giving the option of order one. What will happen? We'll check it. And then the here, once I generate the grid here, I generate the grid, then I can have the, the discrete initial value here. And then I start my time loop. So nothing changed, all are the same. So here, this is our edge. So I'm just using one edge for computing the derivative. Maybe I take n the s for computing the reconstruction or applying the the moving least square approximation. So here in this process, I look the up point point if it is a positive or negative. Accordingly, I sort the neighbor either from the left or right. So once I have that, I compute the derivative. Here I compute the row of x. This part. Yeah, I compute this rho of x. Once I have rho of x, then I solve. So I update new value x new is equal to x old plus delta t times velocity divided by 2. And the rho new is the same as which we have seen in the formula. Then once I have the new position, now I do the reprojection. So here I can play a little bit my s. I have taken a little bit smaller than that because. If I do the interpolation, I take more neighbor. I might have make a, made a mistake or some error so that my solution will be smoothed out. So that will play a little bit with this parameter. How can we optimize or how can we get better resolution? So now this year I start my reprojection means I run for all i is equal to 1 to n on the old position. So this is my old position. I want to find which are the neighbor from the new particle position x i n plus 1 and then I find the neighbor then I after I finding the neighbor I look my nearest neighbor and then once I have the nearest neighbor then after that I can use moving least square method so here I have taken alpha 1 is equal to 10 I will come later to this point so we just change some parameter what the effect is so I have initialized that if order is equal to 1, I do the first order linear approximation. If order is equal to 2, I do the second order linear approximation. It means the Taylor expansion up to order 2. And then after that, I just put old value as a new value. 
and the x volt is already I have not changed, so x volt uh, remains the same. So now here my time loop uh, in ends. Then I compute finally the exact solution and the numerical solution. Let us check how the solution is looking. So you see that I have a little bit uh, uh, even more viscous because what we had that if we don't apply any reprojection so it means I have mentioned in the earlier lecture that so in the upwinding method we have the numerical viscosity so our solution is smearing out and then when we do our first order interpolation also our error in the reconstruction process the first order interpolation gives also and the smearing effect then at every time step I am having two numerical diffusion so our solution is little bit more diffuse yeah and now if I do the order is equal to two what will happen so I have initialized given the order one so here I can use the order two It is little bit better than the order one, but only the reconstruction doesn't help if you make a mistake in the first computing the solution itself. Yeah, if you have not mistake, if you have the diffusion here and the reconstruction of the diffuse solution will not be much better. So it will just reduce the reconstruction error, but it doesn't reduce the original diffusion. So therefore, in order to that, either we do the second order approximation of that or apply some numerical viscosity so here let us start i think uh, so if we go to the viscose form here what we will see now so once more so if i have order is equal to two and now if i just change my alpha or the reconstruction yeah so here let us start, let us take just my 3.1, same as before. My alpha I take as 3, what will happen? If I do the reconstruction not accurately, I may get solution here, you remember. So here we have little smooth, but now I am taking larger name, number of neighbor. So it is a little bit worse, yeah. So if I take a little bit larger, so it is a little bit wrong. So therefore, I am taking my alpha very, very, very large so that. So I just give the largest weight only for the nearest, very near particle and almost very less weight if they are a little bit far. So it is better because I had given a little bit fat, small the weight so that I had a little bit uh, the diffusion. Now I come to the diffusion equation. So everything is same. Just instead of this a by two, the diffusion. What I have to do that same as I move with the point a here because I don't have any arbitrary Euler and Lagrangian things. It is purely Lagrangian, and here I will have my delta epsilon times rho by two. What uh, do I have that? So there is no a by two. That this part is not there. So only what I have that I have viscosity times second order derivative of rho. Yeah. So here this is the second order scheme, and let's just let us check how the solution looks like. Yeah, here still we have some problem. Yeah. It means the second order scheme. If you do the reconstruction of order two. Yeah, only the second order scheme it doesn't help much. So now let us make the order is equal to one. Because we see that we have little bit numerical error near the this uh, the boundary between the zero and non-zero value of the of the solution. We have little bit problem. And now if I put the reconstruction of order one, so it is smoothing out a lot. Yeah, but I have still some error. So here the problem is that um, so the viscosity if I take a little bit larger here 
So let us say what will happen. So it is still a little bit more smooth. So I think I have I have plotted the the original solution here. T should be one. T Somehow the solution has uh, not gone much far. So it has gone a little bit far away. So if I had the first order, let us do with the second order. Runge Kuta. So with the Runge Kuta also is not much difference. But when I have the order one, so it is Runge Kuta gives better than the the Euler second order because here, but it's still little oscillation. But if I reduce by order one, so I may have even more more numerical diffusion. Yeah, but the order one has reduced the oscillation, but order two reconstruction is a problem. The problem is that. This is the hyperbolic equation. When you do the second order approximation, then you can have always some type of numerical oscillation. So to avoid that, one has to do some type of non, some type of trick where the oscillation are reduced. So this is called uh, somehow WENO weighted essentially non-oscillatory scheme or essentially non-oscillatory scheme if you look the classical final difference uh, solution you find that uh, that this method so many people have worked on that so here i will show in the in the last lecture so how do you apply the second order approximation just to avoiding this oscillation and using that uh, weno bueno algorithm now come back to to the burger equation here so the burger equation again i do the reconstruction so let us see for the solution so if i have order is equal to 2 i have little bit oscillation yeah but when i have order is equal to 1 So the order one gives some diffusion, yeah, numerical diffusion. The reconstruction order, the order means the reconstruction order. But if I give the reconstruction order two, I get better resolution, but I got little bit oscillation here. You see, small oscillation. So, but when I look, we look the upwinding. Yeah, without reconstruction. So opening without reconstruction, I have little bit smearing in this corner, and the and the bottom is almost good. But when I do the upwinding with the reconstruction of order one, so reconstruction order one. So then I will get the smearing effect here also because of a reconstruction. It is because of the least square uh, interpolation. Yeah. So upwinding without reconstruction, I have better resolution here, better agreement with the exact solution, and here almost the same. But when I do the purely Lagrange, and then I will have only the smooth just. Uh, smearing effect only on the top of the line yeah so this is the the difference that uh, so if i use the reconstruction method with order one order two i get better solution but i still have the problem with the oscillation yeah so this one is effect just i told you earlier that so 
if you want, if there is always a, the hyper, in the hyperbolic equation, if you want to approximate higher order in the space, and then you have to do some type of uh, other things that where you damp all the oscillation. So then we'll see in our forthcoming lecture that so we use uh, some weighted uh, WNO algorithm in our mesh free framework. Then we get uh, we get rid of all this uh, oscillation. I think what we want to do that if we have linear advection just without uh, projection, let me show. So we have this solution here with the second order. Again, we got a problem, yeah. But when we have a linear advection with the projection with the Runge Kuta order two. So this is order two here. But if I make this order one, but when I make order two, so we got a little bit more diffusion. Huh? So, but it is not much because the, the approximation of first order derivative itself is uh, the first order. Therefore, there is a numerical diffusion, and then that has caused us that we, got, we are a little bit far from the exact solution. But that we can resolve when we, we use a more point. So I am using just 100 point, let us use a 400 point, then we should get better agreement with the exact solution. So with the 400 point, so we get a little bit better, but still we are a little bit away from the exact solution, yeah, a little bit back. It is due to the numerical error. So here I have done first solving the star, it means first computing the first order derivative, small error, and then in the second reconstruction, in the interpolation also, little bit of error, and then every time step doing two error, and then in the Runge Kuta, so you have two step. First step, you have one derivative approximation. In the second step, you have another derivative approximation, and then in the reconstruction, so you have three times some type of mesh free approximation for derivative and reconstruction. Therefore, the error, numerical error is three times larger. So that is the effect. So this is just, I want to show you that uh, this particle reconstruction. So it is not always good. So you have to apply some type of other reconstruction process so that the higher order approximation gives the the less uh, or no oscillation. So uh, I think we stop uh, this all uh, reconstruction method for the conservation equation. And next, uh, I will show you some continuation of our, our uh, computation. I come to some shallow water equation. So please wait to the next lecture. So there, I solve the two equation using the same idea and see a little bit how the wave hits the wall and how it comes back. So. See you in the next lecture. Thank you.